I wanted to tell you a thrilling story that I heard last week while I was visiting prison. Marion County is one of the southern counties uh, down on the Louisiana border. And just outside the little town of Columbia, there's a little church building off to the side of the road. A man came to me. He's obviously been through a terrible fire, his face and hands scarred, some of his digits missing. But he's just radiant with the joy of the Lord. And as we talked, he was he was saying, you know, I just can hardly wait till you get here. And and the ministry is so rich and I I share what I learn with my sister. She's going to be waiting for me to call and share the things I've learned. Such an appetite for the things of God. And uh, when I asked him about his background a little bit, he told me that his grandfather was a preacher in this little church. And uh, back in the days of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, four Klansmen had ridden up to this church with their hoods on and had threatened his grandfather and told him, if you preach, we're going to shoot you dead. And he said, well, God has called me to preach. So you're going to have to shoot me while I'm preaching. Well, one of the men was so impressed with his courage uh, that he stayed and listened. In fact, the, I think maybe the four of them stayed outside the building, but listened to the message. And at the end of the time, he took off his hood and went forward and confessed the Lord as his Savior. And uh, from that point on, he would come and sit on his horse outside the church building and protect the people during the preaching of the Word of God. And eventually, he himself became a preacher and continued with a ministry there. And it just thrilled my heart to think of this. You know, uh, there are three little verses at the end of Romans chapter 12 that are so crucial. We may have talked about this before, but it certainly bears repeating. In verse 9 of Romans 12, we read, Abhor what is evil and cling to what is good. We don't use the word abhor anymore, but it's the word, be horrified. Be horrified by what is evil. And then the word cling, this is actually the word to be glued to it. <laughs> to be glued to what is good. And then in verse 17, it says, repay no one evil for evil. So you're going to speak ill of me. You're going to shoot me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to preach the word of God to you. That's what I'm going to do. You speak ill of me, I'm going, to, I'm going to pray for you. This is the principle in the word of God. We don't play fair. When people do evil against us, we don't respond in kind. So to repay evil for good, that's wickedness. To repay evil for evil, that's the law. To repay good for good, that's expected. But to repay good for evil, that's Christianity. That's Jesus. And then finally in verse 21, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Now the word to overcome here is really a military term. To be conquered or to be carried off in victory. Don't be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Good is a stronger force than evil. It's like light and darkness. No matter how much dark, darkness you have, the light will always win. And so the, the darkness can't extinguish the light, but the light can drive out the darkness. And this is the principle here. Don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. It's not enough for us to say, well, I just won't react. No, no. The Lord Jesus showed by his life, and Paul is teaching here, that the secret of victory in the life of faith is not simply don't let evil overwhelm you, but in a positive way, you go out with good and you will win the field. So pray for these dear brothers in prison what they've done is not the issue. They've been forgiven 
washed clean by the grace of God, and to see their faces responding with joy to the word of God is just such a thrill. And so here is a man who the world would pass him by, damage goods, good for nothing, but he is a precious jewel, a gem for the Savior. In the day when he makes up his jewels, this dear man will be there shining for the Lord Jesus. He has this happy memory of his old grandfather who was willing to defy evil, was willing to stand in the face of a threat of death to preach the word of God rather than being overcome by evil. What a wonderful truth it is to cling to what is good, to return good for evil, and to overcome evil with good.